Greetings everyone. I want to take a few minutes to make this instructional video about our group project for this semester. So um, I have five items here that's below this block. So I have our group project area. So everything below this pertains to our group project. So our group project, um, the posts are due on 1210 and that is our forum here. So you have until the 10th of December to make your post into the forum at midnight and I'll cover this in just a moment in more detail and for those students who do not participate in the forum by 1210 we'll receive a zero for the project so if you don't participate up to that point um, you're going to fail this project and this project is 10% of your final grade so definitely get your posts in by the 10th uh, this is a group project so the timing on this is what's important. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, to hold you responsible because other students are depending upon your post to help do their work. Um, so everyone has to have their post in by the 10th. All right, and then to complete this project, you have to take what is posted in the forum and put it in an answer sheet. And that is going to be due on the 12th at midnight. So let's go through this um, quickly, and I'm going to give you a uh, just a shortened version of what there is to do for those that are looking at it as too long, didn't read. Um, this is for you to watch and see. So you're watching the instructional video right now. There is a group project background video. This gives you the instruction. This gives you the education on how to complete this project. Um, you're going to be looking at this video. It's a YouTube video that's made about um, how packets and frames move from a switch to a router and go from their source to their destination. And this is exactly what this project is about. Um, I'm going to sign everyone a phrase. So I'm going to email that to you here shortly. I'm still putting those together. Um, I had to look at a tally of students and um, do some subnetting and stuff like that. So it's taken me just a little bit longer to do that, but I'm going to have, the, have those emails sent out to you here shortly, so you'll have that. But that phrase is what you're going to be posting into the forum. So um, let's take a look at what this is. So um, group project information, I'm going to click on this link. There's nothing you have to submit here. This is just for where I'm going to place your grade at. So this is just a placeholder for your grade. Um, but it does have the instructions on what we're doing and um, all that information. So um, basically we're explaining the fundamentals of a network communication. And students respond to this group project forum, post any questions or answers within this forum. So um, <clears throat> this is what you'll be posting at. Um, right here so this is forum dedicated just for you so uh, in this forum what you will do is post that phrase that you have you're going to wait for other students to come behind you or before you um, and depending upon whenever you post this so the sooner the better that you go ahead and post your item that you're going to or your phrase that you're going to receive and then you're going to start looking at the phrases as they come in and start sorting them out and you're going to sort them out uh, discussing that with other students and then once everyone comes to a consensus hopefully by the 10th um, then you can start populating this answer sheet with where yours falls in line at so let's go back into this so <clears throat> all these phrases are contained with an email that I'm going to send you each student is only responsible for their own phrases and cannot move or modify other students entry um, so even though this is teamwork um, you're only responsible for the portion that you put in. Um, each phrase will hand off a flow to the next phrase. So basically it's in a sequence um, and you got to watch the video of how to put all these items into a sequence. So you're going to discuss how to put those items in that sequence in that forum. And like I said, this is a team effort. Um, so you've got to make your post uh, and then you've got to get some follow-up on where you think yours falls within other students of posting. All right, so <clears throat> to get graded on this, um, there's two items I'm looking for. 
So again, that is our discussion forum. Um, so if you posted in your discussion forum, um, you posted what item you have and you contributed into making sure that however it's supposed to be aligned, um, you're going to get 50% right off the bat. Um, so post whatever I send you in that email to the forum. And then if I see another post of you assisting other students and watch your thoughts of, of how this is supposed to be put in sequence, um, you'll get 50% right off the bat for that. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the second part is the Excel spreadsheet, um, the document there that has all those uh, items in a sequence. Um, I'll look at that and see how everyone put their item in on on their uh, appropriate spot where it should be and if you put it in the appropriate spot um, you'll get the other 50 percent um, so in the past I have had students get some mixed up um, I do give partial credit for that um, especially if you're talking about it in the discussion board and you're like hey no I think it should go here but it's a group project so the group decides on basically, you know, how it should go. Um, but you're responsible for placing it into the spreadsheet, um, your resource or that term that I send you. All right, so that's the two things, discussion forum post and then actually putting it in the spreadsheet. All right, so here's our discussion forum. So this is where you're going to be talking with other students. You're going to be putting uh, that term that I give you and discussing where you think it should go into this answer sheet. All right, so project forum, um, <clears throat> it's open as you can see until the 10th. So everyone should be able to come here at a discussion topic, put the resource um, that I send you in that email here, and then you guys start discussing where it should go. All right, so this can be multiple topics. You can um, create multiple topics on it. Um, I would initially just put for just keeping it organized and this is part of um, what you're learning how to do, how to navigate within a team um, to keep it organized. So on your first one, I would advise to just put my item or my resource is as your topic and then under that, um, you know, in the body, in the subject, you know, put what that is. And that way you can keep it organized so as each student posts theirs, you can look and see what other students have and then you can start forming an idea of where yours may go into the spreadsheet. All right, so let's look at the second part of what you're actually trying to accomplish is looking at our answer sheet here. So everyone has access to this spreadsheet and you have read-write access to it. Um, you can actually click here and put your resource here wherever you think it may go. So I've given um, you a starting point. So basically the first part of where this data should start at should go into number two and it should end here at number 11. And I put here all answers will be above this row in order as they connect to each other. So where it starts at should be the first place it starts at here and it should end here. So there's 10 students and there's 10 rows here. So each student is tasked with putting their answer in a certain row, however that sequence is. And that's for the students to decide where um, you should put yours at. And again, you're only responsible for putting your resource here, that term that I send to you in that email. Um, no other students responsible for that. So if whenever this closes out, if you don't have your term here in one of these spots, um, then you won't get credit for that. So you would, if you participated in the forum but didn't put anything here, you would end up with essentially a 50 if you participated correctly in the forums. Um, so there's 10 slots. Um, <clears throat> So that gives a slot for every student to put an answer in. So even though you may have it in the wrong slot, you still have a place to put an answer. And hopefully everyone works together and gets this correct. Um, this is part of building a team because whenever you start working with a team, 
um, you're going to be tasked with your input and a good way to do that is sharing it through a spreadsheet like this here so um, each member has their own row basically to put their information into as they contribute to the project so this is a, a good way to do two things um, working with a team uh, working with a project um, in that sense that you're contributing to the project and you're also learning about networking in the same aspect as watching this data flow through the network. All right, so to run through that one more time, you're watching this instructional video here. We have a group project background video. This gives you the education and gives you a sense of what I'm asking for you to place into this spreadsheet here. Um, once it's complete this basically you have a part that they talk about in this video and you put that here in the answer sheet in order of which you think it should go we have our group project information again you won't have to submit anything here this just gives you details about uh, the group project and this is where I actually um, give you a grade at in the grade book so this is where you'll have the grade at <clears throat> for that assignment and then you'll have a grade for the forum as well. So I'll split those two up 50-50. Um, um, <clears throat> and they count, you know, this is five points basically, and this is the other five points for that. And this is just a placeholder here to put your answers um, that I check for that grade um, that goes into here. All right, so hopefully that explains it a little bit better. I'll get those emails out to each student here shortly so you can look at that um, definitely whenever you get that email I would come into our project forum create a topic um, and put whatever term I sent you so everyone can go ahead and start posting up theirs and then as you see these start coming in you can formulate and start saying hey this is where I believe this goes into this answer sheet at so um, once you find the beginning and the end um, that's two spots that you'll find if they go ahead and post those up. So then you can start looking and saying, okay, well, this one may come after this one. And then when those other ones come in, these will be the filler ones in the middle. And then you can see where they kind of start fitting together. Because once you have one piece here, you should be able to determine by watching that video what the possibility of this one should be. And then, um, so it should work out as long as people post these on time of how it should flow. <clears throat> I'll be checking in periodically uh, throughout the week. Um, so as if I see anything posted here that someone may go ahead and post and say, hey, I'm gonna go ahead and place my term here and this one, this is where I think it should go. Um, I'll be giving some hints over here, definitely um, probably around the weekend so roughly around probably Saturday, definitely before the forums close, maybe Friday or Saturday, I'll check in, give some hints about what's posted throughout the week. Um, if I see something over here uh, that someone has placed their term in and they think it goes there. Um, so if, maybe if two or three students have theirs here and I'm like, well, you know, um, that may not be where it goes. I'll put some hints over here to get you in the right direction. So I'm here to give just a little bit of assistance um, as this happens. Um, so definitely look, look over here for some hints provided by the instructor. Um, and most likely that'll be either Friday or Saturday. I'll post those up. But definitely everyone should be able to log in before this is due on Sunday, making sure as I say, well, the posts are due by Sunday. So making sure everyone has logged in and contributed to the forum and has a good idea of what to post in the forum. So the, for the forum's gonna lock up on Sunday at midnight. You won't be able to post any more to it. So you'll have to have some other means to communicate if you wanna communicate via email or you know, however you wanna contact each other between the 11th and the 12th that's up to you um, but that's part of being a part of a project also so good example for that but definitely have these filled out by the 12th thanks everyone